going to be planting green onions. We have some transplants here that we're going to be planting very carefully. This takes a little bit more time and skill, so please uh, take your time, be patient, and this isn't something that needs to be rushed. For the green onions, what we're going to do is we're going to try and separate this into individual plants, and I'd like to just very gently and very slowly start to tease apart the, the roots. The onions are very resilient, their roots are pretty tough and robust, and with a little bit of, of prodding and a little bit of care, we can keep most, if not all, of the roots intact as we separate this. This is just a way to maximize space at the greenhouse as we um, want to keep the plants growing as best as possible without taking up a crazy amount of space. So you can see for this first onion plant, we've separated it. I like to use my thumb, go into about the first or second knuckle, make sure the roots are, are all the way in the hole, and plant it in. We're gonna do five rows of 12. So I'm gonna start with the first row here. And again, this is going to be a gentle and delicate process. One, two, we'll continue with this. If some of the roots break, that is fine. You can see these roots have come apart quite nicely. The roots are generally a little bit thicker than some other plants, and the green onions are very resilient and, and forgiving of being handled and transplanted like this. If we were to try and do this with our beans or with some of our other plants, they don't like to be transplanted as much, so that's why we are going to be uh, putting those things like the beans in from seeds. So, as we continue to gently pry these apart, we've got our second one. These ones are coming apart quite well. As you can see, we're going to be quite careful and gentle with our planting. For the, for the plants, if we can have them nice and evenly spaced, that is ideal and recommended. We're going to want to water these relatively soon after they've been planted. Today, the weather is quite cool and comfortable. We're also planting in the shade in the afternoon. And if there is an ideal time to be planting, it is in the shade in the afternoon, so that the plant has a little bit more time to recover because there is something called transplant shock where the plants are being moved to a completely new, completely new home. And by uh, keeping them not in direct sunlight for the first little bits, giving them some water, this gives them a little bit of time to adjust.